we're going to get right to our guest, Congresswoman Bachman. Good morning. Thanks for being available. Chris Berg, always a thrill to be on your station. Thanks so much. By the way, happy belated birthday. Thank you. I had a great birthday yesterday. I turned 55 years of age. I love getting older. I know that's very unusual, but I actually enjoy it. You you gain wisdom, correct? Well, you you gain wisdom, and it's one year closer to heaven, and that I, that is a good thing, I think. I like the way you think. Yeah. Um, are we going to see a government shutdown tomorrow night? Well, it's possible that we could. Uh, we're doing everything we can to alleviate that. Last night, the Republican leadership met at the White House with President Obama. There were several offers on the table. Uh, one would be to try and get everything wrapped up by the end of the fiscal year is September 30th, and so there's that proposal. And another one is that we would fund the government for another week, but we would fund our troops for the end of the year. Thank one you. thing we do not want to do when the United States is now engaged in three wars in the Middle East, Libya, Iraq, and Afghanistan, we don't want them to be the political football because what in the world are the commanders on the ground supposed to do if they don't know if there's money today or tomorrow? And we just want to make sure that the, the, the families back home that are supporting our troops, we want to make sure that they don't have to worry about a paycheck coming. That's right. My issue here with, with Representative Ryan's proposal, $735 billion less on Medicaid, which is great. He's going to move it on to the states. Okay. The challenge I don't see, and your husband's got two health care clinics, so I want to get your thoughts on this. I don't see anybody talking about the real root of the problem, which is even if you take the money away from Medicaid, it's not going to mitigate the increasing costs of health care. So those are going to continue to rise, and people are still going to wait for the magic pill rather than getting to how do we start to help people understand the importance of personal responsibility around their health. That's exactly right. Chris, you have nailed it as far as the diagnosis for the problem. President Obama did not understand the problem in health care. That's what we need in a president of the United States, someone who correctly can diagnose the problem, who has the right solution, and who has, third, the political courage to carry it out. That's something that's lacking in Washington, D.C., political courage. Diagnosing the problem in health care is increased costs. That's correct. The best way to attack those costs is to open up competition. A lot of people don't realize that we have boundaries around every single state. People can't buy a health insurance policy across state lines. They can only buy a health insurance policy that is written in conformity with their state's laws. We need to erase that and let people buy any health insurance policy they want anywhere in the United States with no minimum mandates. So a single man, for instance, could buy a health insurance policy that would cost maybe, oh, $40 a month. They wouldn't have to pay for maternity coverage. Why should a 26-year-old single yes. man have to pay for maternity coverage right now? Uh, I want to talk a little bit about you recently hired uh, Huckabee's former aide out of Iowa, um, Republican West, I believe it's Enos, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, is that a telltale sign about what's coming uh, with an announcement from you? Well, we are certainly looking very seriously at jumping into the presidential race. And you had mentioned earlier I was the number one fundraiser for all of the candidates, including Mitt Romney in the last quarter. We were so gratified, and what that indicates is we have a very strong base of support from people all across the country giving small donations, about $45 or less, toward wow. my candidacy. People are very excited. They want to know that somebody who is a real person is going to fight for them. That's one thing that I've done in my time in Washington, D.C. 